Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Happy National Knife Day 2019. As promised, I'm going to do a collection update video. A uh, couple things to start out with. Obviously, I'm outside of my light box. Lighting is uh, certainly not optimal. I am going to have to go through this quickly for the sake of this being only a 30 minute video. And I might forget the names of some of the knives. At some point, after the video uploads, I will go through and do a complete list uh, of every knife that I covered. So if I am speaking quickly or you're not understanding the name, just check the list and it'll be in order. It might be a day or two after before I get that list together. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and start. Um, I have a just a tool chest. It's lined with some padded lining so things aren't getting scratched. And this is the Easiest way for me to access and view, I do not like the Pelican cases. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and grab and start. Uh, one of my favorites here, we've got the Rockstead tie. And this is in the DLC coated blade. Picked this one up from Blade HQ after many years of looking at and thinking about Rocksteads. Uh, absolutely worth it. Really enjoy this knife. Moving up, we have the... Clyde Chalinor Viper, one I picked up a blade show, Damacor Steel, carbon fiber inlays, 3D pocket clip. This one does run on washers, and this one does need a video at some point. So that's the Clyde Chalinor Viper. We have the Clyde Chalinor Talon here in Timascus and Damasteel with a Timascus pocket clip. Really cool piece. Um, Pretty sure I have a video. This one certainly needs more pocket time. Now the big brother to the Talon is the Raptor 2 Reverse Tonto M390 blade, titanium handles. Fairly kind of plain and simple knife, but beautifully made, um, and it works really well in my large hands. So Clyde Chalinor Raptor 2 Reverse Tonto. Um, a really interesting knife is going to be the Grant and Gavin Hawk Mud. This is the auto version, and this was kind of a, a mid-tech. It was it was built by Millet, also out of Idaho, um, but a very, very cool knife, super unique. This one will be getting a sibling here this upcoming week that I'm really excited about. Shirogorov F95NL with... Uh, I think this is supposed to be green micarta scales um, or inlays. It's pretty dirty. I've never cleaned it, so. Um, but it's always nice to have a Shirogorov in the collection. So, this is the Mosier uh, Menace Eminent, I believe. Um, custom from David Mosier. Really, really enjoy his work. Uh, I did a video on this one. It's got some nice Zerka Thai accents throughout. Uh, if you haven't checked out his work, certainly make a point to do it at some point. Ooh, another one from Blade Show. This is the Beg Knives Osteo. Uh, beautiful, beautiful piece. Super stoked to have this one in the collection now. This does need a video, but I need to make sure I get proper background and information because um, I think this knife and this company has a great story that should be told. So this one will be upcoming, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful work. So I'm um, really happy to have this one. The Chris Reeve Impinda, new little slip joint from Chris Reeve Knives out of Idaho. You guys all know Chris Reeve. This is a Bill Harsey collaboration. Starting to get a little snail trail on it. Really nice slip joint. Its big brother is going to be the Chris Reeve 21 carbon fiber. This is a Blade HQ exclusive. And the 21 has now been discontinued, so I don't know if Blade HQ is going to get any more of these. I imagine at some point they'll get um, the Sabenza 31, which is the updated model. I imagine they'll have it with carbon fiber um, inlays or overlays at some point, but who knows when. It's, it's going to be a while. Um, Tim said they're still backlogged on the last of the 21s they'll have out by the end of the year, hopefully, or maybe January of 2020. Next one, Nova Blades Grim, uh, in like a Performance 3V 
Sanmai blade steel. Got some Timascus accents, some pivot collar, backspace so it's also um, Sanmai. So this is a pretty sweet custom from Nova Blades out of Jersey, uh, but really like this model. Um, I'm not sure he's making it anymore. This one is a couple years old, but um, it's a really cool piece. Next one is going to be the Sergei Rogovitz model ooh, 17, I think. What does it say? Yeah, model 17. This was number one of the model 17s. Um, if you don't know him, definitely check out his work. I've got some really nice Timascus accents on this bad boy. Pivot collar. The hole in the blade is there on purpose. It's a design element. It's got a copper inlay. So um, This was, I don't know, probably my favorite model he's done so far. It's got some laser work, uh, but his work is very, very nice. So that's the Model 17 by Sergei Rogovitz. Koenig Knives, this is the Arius model. I'm sure all of you guys know them. Uh, this was a special one-off build he did for me quite a few years ago. Got a Timascus backspacer. Handles were orange peeled. Polished stonewashed blade. Um, very much looking forward to getting um, another, another custom Arius at, at some point in time. I've been kind of waiting about three years for a new one, so we'll see when and if and how that happens. Uh, but very cool piece. Brown knife servo number one, uh, Timascus inlays, Dama steel. It's got my logo, more Timascus, more Dama steel, more Timascus. So, very cool knife. Really happy to have this one from Craig Brown, and he's just finishing up his. Mm, his current model, he's going to have a new model probably later this year, beginning of next year. Anyways, that's the Brown Knife Servo. Had this one for a long time. This is the Freedom Fighter by Shane Atwood out of Utah. Um, very cool piece that I picked up off Instagram. Shane does not make too many knives, so happy to have the Freedom Fighter here from him. Next one's a custom slip joint. This is the Meganique by Johan Ellis out of South Africa. This was designed by Francois Nell, named after his two daughters, Megan and Monique, I think. Meganique, that's where the name comes from, but multicolored carbon fiber. The pins are titanium and heat colored. Oh, what is that? Crap. All right, <laughs> just some junk on it. Um, Dama steel blade, of course, compound ground. Beautiful, beautiful slip joint, so. Um, Really nice piece. Uh, next up here we have the M. What is this? The M. M. The M. D. D. K. Uh, the Mayo Doctor Death Kickstop M. D. D. K. Uh, by Wingman Knives. So you guys probably all have seen this. Employs the kickstop mechanism. This does have a video. Got it in black here and the satin and the silver. So. These are super cool, produced by Riot, but love the kickstop model. Check out the video on this one if you have not seen these yet. All right, so that's shelf one, or the top shelf. We're going to go down to the ZT drawer. Uh, first one, you notice this doesn't have a lot of wear and tear on it. I had to take the sheath off to get it in the drawer here. This is the 180. Uh, picked this one up when they went on clearance when they discontinued this model, so... Uh, pretty sweet fixed blade in what Vanix or Vanitas 4 extra steel. So if I ever need a heavy duty fixed blade, I've got this one here. We'll see when and if I need that one. Um, uh, let's go ahead. Got some Kershaws here like the Bare Knuckle. This came out this year, I believe. It's got the sub frame lock. Um, it's one of the USA produced Kershaws, but. Uh, carries the lines from the 777 series. Uh, that's a fun one. You guys have all seen the Kershaw Dividend in S35VN here. Uh, don't really need to talk too much about that one. We've got the new, the ZT22, Tim Galleon, Galeen design. Um, the little, little tiny ZT that came out this year. So, all right, moving along. I uh, may have to 
flip these over, look at the names. I'm glad these have the names on them. 0393, this is kind of the budget-friendly version of the 0392. I did obviously upgrade and get, you know, more titanium bits in here to match. So put drop a little extra money into this one. Uh, I need to carry it more. We've got the ZT0392 Purple Black Wash Warncliffe. So one of the 0392 series, and the 0392 series is arguably still my favorite series of knives from ZT. Uh, the one that's missing that's in my pocket today is the ZT0392. Oh. And this is the original 0392, just in the, the working finish with blue. Super cool piece. Uh, bought it, sold it, bought it again. I'll drop that in here. Uh, we have the new uh, ZT223, another Tim Galleon design. Uh, you know, this is one you guys should really give a chance. It's a very, very nice ZT. Great ergonomics, flips amazing, feels really good in the hand. So um, it's been a little bit contentious, but I, I think it's a good model. A uh, couple more Kershaw's CQC 7K. Uh, yeah, I think the CQC 7K doesn't even have the model on here, or I missed it. It's a it's a nice Kershaw. I recommend that one. We got the Kershaw. Was it the induction here, which has the hawk lock with it? I'm definitely a fan of. I think this is the induction. Hopefully that's the right name again. I'll annotate at some point, but uh, love the hawk lock. Can't wait for another ZT with one of these locks. All right. Moving right along, we have the model 0456. This is the carbon fiber version. Um, it, it feels way different than the original all titanium, all titanium version. Definitely recommend this one if you guys have not had a chance to get your hands on it or if you like this design, a Sinkovich design. So, very cool. The 470, most of you probably know it. Another Sinkovich design, one of my favorites from... 2018 just a super nice little EDC um, blade so a great design great execution by ZT all right moving along the 450 this is the factory custom damasteel version um, this is the nicest for ZT 450 they've ever produced and released the herringbone Damascus was the same bar stock or the same stock as steel used in the original triple sevens that again very infamous knives four seven or the 450s are also a, a great design Sigovich makes great designs 0609 rj martin design um yeah just a, a super cool piece it has the see-through pivot and i've got the tool around here somewhere for this thing it, it wasn't all that expensive so uh, great ergonomics nice design all right the 04, the 05, the 0562 carbon fiber, uh, one of the best ZTs they've ever made, uh, bar setting knife for sure, a little bit of bling with superconductor over travel, um, but certainly one of my favorites from ZT, a Rick Hinder design, you guys should know this one and most of you have owned it once, at least once. All right, this is the model of the 850 and I really like this design, um, you know, full carbon fiber with the sub frame lock, um, runs on washers, stupid smooth, good ergonomics. Uh, it, it's just a super cool design. I can't wait till ZD, ZT produces another all carbon fiber knife uh, with the sub frame lock again. So hopefully at some point, and I need to start cranking a little faster here. We're not even halfway through and we're at 14 minutes. Ooh, this one is the, gosh, I can't remember, the 0452 Black Wash. Very large knife. Um, it's got black and white carbon fiber and a black blade. Very cool version. Uh, yes, my little Persian here. 0462, another Sinkovich design. That was a Sinkovich design. Um, I love Persians. This is a beautiful Persian, and this is a beautiful knife. The Emerson design here. Uh, 640 and underrated knife uh, stupid smooth on washers really great design 
So um, I'll be happy if they release a smaller version. Then we have the Gustachini 0055. This has the kickstop. I'm sorry, not the kickstop, the uh, spring-loaded tab. So that's a cool one. All right, that's the ZT drawer. Let's get cranking here. Uh, this is primarily the Riot and Leong Ma drawer. Uh, so the Riot Jack 1, an integral that came out Blade Show 2018, I think. Very cool piece, very large, um, very, very impressive build. Uh, the Jack 2, and this one has a polished blade on one side. Uh, I need to do a video on this. This is a really unique piece as well, um, but I picked this up. Blade Show 2019. Yeah, it needs a video. Uh, the React K4, I think. This was a limited edition from the USN show a few years ago. Um, M390, you know, carbon fiber inlays, full DLC handle and blade, um, or PVD. Super cool. React K2. Tonto. Kind of looks like a samurai sword. Stupid smooth. Great knife. The Future, uh, Tashi Barucha design, another integral uh, handle. Um, had a couple firsts as far as some design, really cool design things they did, but anyways. Uh, I kind of messed up the pivot on this one, but yeah, I still have it. Uh, JB Genix, I think that's the name. This is the Chaos Samurai. Need to do a video on this one, need to gather more info. Kind of hard to get info on this one, but that's a cool piece. <clears throat> Tashi design with Riyadh. This is the baby machine. Uh, again, I mean, I like all of these, but I definitely like this one. This is one of my favorite ones from 2018. Now, we've got some uh, Beg Knives collaborations. We've got the mini glimpse that Riyadh produced. Uh, gorgeous little gentleman style knife. Got the uh, cracked ice finish. That one's nice. We have the full-size glimpse that was produced by Wee Knives. Um, and again, one that I like. So, uh, production knife, uh, Big Knives of California. Um, another production one is going to be the Bodega, produced by Riot for Big Knives of California. Very, very... Um, detail intense piece. I really like this one as well. Alright, into some of the Liang Ma designs like the full size eraser here. Came out last year. Really nice four inch knife. One of my favorites from 2018. Uh, I think this is the GSD which is the get shit done. This is the tuxedo version. Again produced by Riot. This one's an S35VN but a nice combination. One of the new 2019 designs with uh, the, what is it, the Teletubby flipper tab. This is the Cuff Kitchen Utility Folder 2 with green micarta. Um, cool piece. It needs a video as well. Uh, this is the Riot um, and Kirby Lambert Crossroad collaboration. A very nice piece. Lots of nice details. You guys, this has been out for a while. I think you guys have probably seen this one. Uh, the... Bum, ba -dum, oh my gosh. The Horizon, Mini Horizon D. Um, all black with some gold accents. Uh, that's just from the stuff I have down. Uh, but again, it's super nice. Um, this one probably needs a video. Probably the best of the Horizon series from Riot. From Riot. Here's the new Zulu flipper from Liang Ma. Um, this one was just released, but really nice, kind of modern, traditional blend. Um, along those same lines, we have the Hawk, uh, kind of based, I guess, on a dog bone traditional slip joint. Small, lightweight, blend of old and new. We've got the Oh my gosh, what is this model? The Lanny Flipper. This is a special edition in Damasteel with Micarta. Came out 2018, I believe. 
also Liang Ma. We've got the Liang Ma 15, which he produced or designed his, you know, celebrate 15 years of making knives. It's an integral compound hand ground blade. Got some cool vents. Um, a super nice piece as far as integrals go. Big old four inch blade. So then we have the Field Duty, I think. This one came out this year. Again, big old four inch wide, thinner ground, kind of outdoor folding knife and M390 from Liang Ma. I'm pretty sure this one's called the Field Duty. So, but um, again, very nice knife if you like larger knives um, and you want to beat it. So, there's that one. All right, now we're going to get down to some of the other drawers. All right. Man. Uh, this is the Spider Coast Sleash Buoy. You guys know it. You guys love it. It's discontinued. We got the Parrot 2 with the Flytanium Titanium Scales. Um, yeah, really nice version of the Parrot 2. Got some Benchmates here like the 940-1 in carbon fiber in S90V. Um, this is a great knife for the office. Carries wonderfully in slacks. Full size, lightweight, good ergos. Beautiful design. The uh, Benchmade Bailout. Uh, certainly been a kind of a contentious knife, but again, super lightweight. Really thin blade stock, this one, and a deep carry pocket clip. Uh, I love this one at the office. It's kind of not what it was marketed for, or maybe designed for, but uh, this is great for the office. Uh, Summit Knife Co. Half Dome. Um, great design, great concept. This one has some lockup issues. I need to get in touch with them about it. I just, I've just i been super busy. but Anyways, um, a cool design for 2019. The Benchmade Proper in carbon fiber and S90V. Uh, again, really nice slip joint for the office or for someone who wants a non-locking knife. Benchmade Anthem, their first integral. Uh, access lock runs on bearings. Stupid, stupid smooth. And has an upgraded Adam Purvis uh, Timascus clip. So I should probably get this thing anodized blue to match the clip. I've just been lazy. Benchmade Mini Crooked River. Absolutely love this knife. So yeah, this one's great. One of my favorite designs from Benchmade ever. I need to, I need to do like a, one of their custom shop ones of these. Uh, the Benchmade Grizzly Ridge. Another really cool, hard use, kind of outdoor knife. Stupid smooth. Oh, love the Grizzly. Grizzly Ridge. A um, little bit thicker blade stock, but that's alright. We've got the Super Freak in uh, Benchmade. Oh crap, what was I know it's called the Super Freak. Uh, Benchmade Freak? Freak? Crap. I, I think it's the full size Freak. It's not the mini Freak. M4, some nice G10 red liners. Um, again, a really nice Benchmade. So that's a nice one. Uh, Custom Knife Factory, the Tegral. One of the longest standing knives in my collection. It's an integral, crazy smooth. Just feels amazing. Love this knife. Oh my gosh, keep going. All right, next one. We have the the new um, Custom Knife Factory Peter Resendi collab, the Snafu 2.0, also an integral. You guys can see that's a theme at this point. I love them, and this thing is incredibly well made. Um, yeah, I, you lose nothing from the custom if you pick this up. It's every bit as good as a custom Snafu. So, um, very, very impressive build. Ooh, one of my other favorite ones from this year, the Philippe Georget collaboration, the 523, carbon fiber, zirconium, M390. This thing's got a stupid smooth. Um, it's got a video. Definitely check it out. Um, love this knife. Definitely one of my favorites from this year. Uh, some of the we produce knives, like the oh, dog hair everywhere, the Gent uh, Fair and Forge collab, a uh, little great pocket knife for the office or everyday carry. Uh, that's the drop gent. Then we have the Civivi, which is the budget line of Wii knives, the Elementum. This one's in uh, black wood. Great, great knife for the office. Um, 
yeah, really enjoy this one. It gets a lot of pocket time, actually. Oh, man. Uh, this was a prototype I picked up several years ago. Blade Show. I think it's called the Yuma, like maybe the Model 801. I'll have to annotate uh, in the list in, of all the knives below. Amazing ergonomics. I've had this one for quite a few years now, and it's um, it's very, very nice. The other one, and I don't remember the model number, but it's essentially the budget version of that one. Um, in D2 and G10, uh, I beat on this thing quite a bit, and it's it's stood up very, very well. So I'll have to find the model number for this one. I just don't remember. Adam Purvis Primordial came out last year. One of my favorite knives from 2018. Just a fantastic little everyday carry. Stupid smooth. Very, very well made. Great design. Um, highly recommend it. This is the Drop and Terzola, what, ATCF collab? Something like that. Um, I don't know. And it, it really hasn't seen a whole lot of pocket time. Uh, love Terzola designs. I just, I don't know, too many other knives. And yeah, it's fine. It's well made. The Elijah Isham Black Star, the little non-locking kind of detent driven flipper. This one's pretty sweet. So G10 carbon fiber. Yeah, very. It's been a very very popular knife. So, all right, two more drawers, guys. Uh, bear with me. Now we're down into some of the Guardian Tactical stuff, like the Mini Helix or the Helix Nano. This is the carbon fiber version. Um, they don't make these anymore, uh, but I really enjoy this one so much so that I bought it in titanium as well. It was a Blade Show Blade Show exclusive several years ago. Um, but again, just a, a great design, great knife. The Guardian Tactical. Helix Nano and Titanium. Um, Guardian Tactical also produces the Ratworks chain drive, MRX chain drives for Ratworks. So this is just a small Tonto version of the uh, MRX or Ratworks MRX chain drive. So also produced by Guardian Tactical. Guardian Tactical Occipital only made 100 and then they stopped production of focus on their out the front automatics. So um, not too many of these out in the wild. Hopefully this comes back someday with some design tweaks. Guardian Tactical Konix. Uh, interesting design, super wide blade. It, it has kind of a, a skeleton type approach where everything's attached to the backspacer. Um, really interesting knife. This was a special one done with full uh, bronze everything including the blade for me so um, yeah that's uh, this one's pretty cool apologize that the lighting keeps shifting there's cloud cover that keeps coming and going Guardian Tactical Recon 035 uh, drop point variation in the uh, two-tone finish same knife Recon 35 but with a uh, I think it's a brass front scale and then a bronzed dagger blade and bronze pocket clip and hardware and friction plate and all that other fun stuff. So, um, yeah, this one's kind of an upgraded version, essentially. Jumping into the... Well, let's grab these two first. Uh, VDK Vice. This is a new release. This one just came out. Very, very large, very wide blade. Uh, just did a video on this one. You can go check it out. Uh... Mini Hawkbill? Uh, I don't remember what the model name is, but same uh, from VDK again. Um, little kind of budget version Hawkbill knife made by Wii. Very well made. Now we're going to get into some of the Kaiser stuff like the Sheepdog XL. Ridiculous and practical. Super fun. So that's the Sheepdog XL. This is the bag lighter uh, in the titanium and S35. Great, great knife. Again, works well in slacks also. Tangram Santa Fe, one of my favorite budget knives out there. Assuming they still make it, just uh, this thing, stupid smooth. 
and it has been in my pocket with keys so many times I, I wouldn't even dare to count. Holding up just fine. Tangram Vector, uh, really nice button lock. Again, also one of my favorite budget knives out there. The Kaiser Feist Reverse Tonto, I think is what this model was. Nice little front flipper. Um, yeah, there should be more of these coming with like carbon fiber scales and other things that I think will be some nice upgrades. The Kaiser sl Zip Slip. Yeah, zip slip. Uh, Mike Venino collaboration. Uh, it is a slip joint. It's got a forward choil. Um, it has an interesting mechanism in there. Uh, it's it's a nice little slip joint, uh, modernish slip joint. <sighs> What's this one? A microlith, um, a Swan collaboration. Can't remember his first name right now. Uh, this one needs some work. I, I hate the pocket clip. It doesn't really work, but. Um, and the flipping action is so-so. I need to take it down, see if I can mess with it. The Kaiser Guru, Matt Degnan collab, had some nice anodizing done. Uh, he's got some new designs coming out with uh, Wii knives these days. Uh, this right here is arguably one of the best all-around Kaisers ever produced. The T1, bearing thumb stud, great ergos, thinner blade stock, just all-around. Uh, fantastic knife from Kaiser. Um, certainly one of the ones that I would recommend from their lineup. So that's the T1. Alright, uh, Mini Sheepdog. This is the G10 version. This is the titanium version. Obviously the same knife, different materials, probably VG10 and S35VN for the blade steel. This is, ooh, what is this? Um, Mini Ethereum, Elijah Isham collab, carbon fiber, S35VN. Uh, I don't even remember which model this is. The Orion from Tangram. I haven't carried it a whole lot, but it's a nice design and uh, well made for a budget knife. Then we've got the Ray Laconico Yorkie. Um, Decent blade stock, the, the blade to handle weight ratio is not ideal, but um, it's, a, it's a nice design. Alright, where are we at here? We're at 32 minutes. Alright, now we're getting down to some of the, the more kind of odds and ends down here. Um, I've, got, I've got a couple uh, Victorinox, you know, the Farmer, the Cadet, I've got a Leatherman Juice S2, I've got some... This is a cheapy little uh, Kershaw lockback. I think it's called the Indian. Uh, Indian Ford. Uh, one of their kind of their China made knives, but um, it looked really cool. I liked it. Uh, here we have a JE made slip joint. Uh, they come from China, but very, very, very high quality um, as far as slip joints go. Premium materials, premium fit and finish. Um, he's, these pop up at various dealers, but the, the maker and the production's out of China. Uh, don't remember the model name of that one, and I don't remember the model name of this one, but the same maker, same, uh, you know, exceptional materials and ironwood scales and titanium, and it's got, this one's got a pocket clip, but it's a slip joint, so, again, I don't remember the model names of either of those two. Uh, this is Enigma Knives out of Poland, I think. Uh, custom slip joint with C-Tech. Fit and finish is okay for, it was like 110 bucks. It's it's a, a really cool slip joint for 110 bucks that's custom made, so. Uh, Kubi Knives. Actually, I think I have one or two others that aren't even in here. Um, all right, so I forgot the other ones. Anyways, this, this company has a little bit of a a varied or assorted past. Um, they've told me they're cleaning things up and they're trying to do better. I don't recall what this model's even called, but it's from Kubi Knives. I have two others that are not in here and uh, they're somewhere else. Uh, PMP Knives, this is the Revenge model. Yeah, PMP Revenge. Large, wide, 
knife. Um, it's nice. I like this one. So, it has a unique design aesthetic. Got the Drop Ferrum Forge Mordax Flipper, produced by Protec in California. Stupid smooth knife. I've got a video on this one up. Check it out. Oh. Uh, Max Ace Gleed. Really unique design. Pretty good fit and finish. I don't know. Still have it. Uh, SOG Flash 2. This was a gift from someone. Um, this thing's seen some use and abuse over the years, and it's honestly held up pretty well. So, you know, despite SOG's reputation, they can certainly make decent knives. HEA Designs Hunter. Get another nice one for the office, and it is a front flipper. So, like the design. Uh, now we're getting into some of the uh, Blade Runner Systems, BRS type knives. I think this one's the Apache side opening auto. Got a nice, nice kick to it. So, um, there's one. Uh, shoot, I don't even remember the name of this model. Really kind of futuristic design. I, I have a video, I just can't remember the name right now. Again, check the description, I'll have names up eventually. The Bare Bones. Balasong Trainer. Bought this at Blade Show 2018. I wouldn't embarrass myself by trying to do anything with it. Maniogo Knife Makers. This is the Route. Uh, Lucas Burnley Collab. Uh, this is the Arvenis. I think also Lucas Burnley Collab. Um, some really nice stuff out of Italy though. So, like that one quite a bit. Also, out of Italy of course is the Real Steel um, Tasso, Tazo, the ant lock knife. So I have a video on that one, um, but really good value here. Uh, another for Blade Runner Systems. This is the Nomad, I think. It's a collaboration um, also with Nova Blades out of Jersey. So uh, pretty aggressive Tonto. Um, just came out from Blade Show. Got the Lion Steel slip joint here. Uh, what name was it? I don't remember. That's a Lion Steel slip joint. It's good materials. I've got a couple other odds and ends, like a knife I inherited from my grandfather. Um, when he passed away, I've got some other ones that disappeared. Um, there's the Leong Ma little fixed blade here. Again, I don't remember the name of this one, but kind of a cool urban designed uh, fixed blade. I have a custom small fixed blade here that Mike Gavco of Gavco or Mike Gavica Gavco knives produced. This was a gift from someone so it'll always stay with me but really nice little slip joint. Oh my gosh, can't believe the fixed blade, really nice little fixed blade. And that is pretty much it. Now there are a few other odds and ends that didn't make it on this video. I've got a few more pieces coming this week. Um, but I mean, that, that should do it. So anyways, that is the current look. Hopefully there's some reducing and refining coming up soon because as you guys can see, I am, I am completely <laughs> maxed out in this toolbox. So um, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. More videos to come and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.